Right, so that's that then. So now, the next one. It's a cannon. Now I've just bought this. I was recommended to this camera by a by a professional uh, just outside just outside Abel where we live. I bought a camera off a man, which is up on the shelf. What it is, it's the it's the predecessor to this one. Um, that's the two thousand five hundred. The camera that I bought off him is the 2000, so, so I was so pleased with that that I see this one going, the later one, and I thought I'll go for the later one and sell this one. So he, we had a good old chat, he, he's, he's filmed it, he's filmed for the BBC and that, this man, for these uh, um, nature programmes, you know. And he says he bought it been all in the Amazon and around with the apes and God knows what. Anyway, I could have I could have spoke to, I could have spoke to this man for ages. And he was in the process of moving. Uh, so he set off a load of equipment. Well, I suppose he set off what he don't use. Because obviously, you know, as as time goes on, things get better, don't they? Things get better because cameras years ago, I mean if you watch something on the telly that's not HD, the, the picture then is just crap isn't it? Yeah so everything goes on and it gets better. Okay now so it advised me to buy one of these. Now it's a brilliant little camera, it's heavy, it's heavy. But what we've got here you see, everything is it's got it's got a little button there you press and it releases the lens cap so you haven't got to mess about with that and have it dangling down or put it in your pocket no it's all contained there job done this handle on the top apart from making it easy to carry around it houses a i don't know if it's a hot shoe it's a cold shoe i think i can't see any I can't, well, I can, I can see contacts in there, I think. So it might be a hot shoe. But anyway, it doesn't make too much difference. What this handle does, it houses the controls for the, for the microphones you can, you can put in here. With, I forget what them connectors are called now. SLRs, isn't it? Is it SLRs? The three pin connectors. Ooh, I'm losing it. Right, so so you can if you plug the microphone in there with the SLRs, then you can control the volume this side with these two volume controls, and you've got your uh, phantom power. If it's a condenser microphone, it needs power. You've got your phantom power there. And that's all in that handle. If you don't want this handle on there, you can take it off. We've got two two screws here, two thumb screws here, one there. We undo that. Just just take the handle off, and you can mount the microphone on the shoe underneath. Which is that is a hot shoe that is sitting on there. That's a hot shoe. Um, it's a Canon XA forty four K. So, I've not used this yet, I've not used it, the screen is perfect, there's no marks on this whatsoever on this camera, the screen is perfect, uh, it's a touch screen, but, if you, I don't think you can see, but I'll, I'll go through it, if you go into the menu, you've got menu button there, and just here, You've got a little cursor, a little toggle switch, which if you press in, is it like an OK button? If you press in, it clicks. Or you can move from side to side, up and down. So you can run through your menu using that rather than screen. That's a good idea. It's got uh, infrared, 
night vision thing. On and off button there. Battery info button. See how much battery you got. Now it's got two SD cards. Now this is the first camera I've ever bought. Right. It's come with an SD card. And this one's come with the two. Not one, but two cards. And they go in there. And what what we happens here is you you can either record onto the two cards at once, that gives, that gives you one backup in case something goes wrong, or record onto one card and when it's full up it will automatically transfer to the other card. Clever idea. Right, that's your battery. That's a large one that, that is. The original ones are small. The original batteries are always a small battery, aren't they? You, you buy something new like this, which new is over 1500 quid, it comes with a little tiny gimp battery. So the first thing you do, you go out and buy a big battery to go on it. So anyway, I've got two batteries with it. Um, yeah, the lens, or the, the visual, that pulls out and up, so you can, oh, 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 like that. Because in the sunlight, in the bright sunlight, you can't see these screens. You can't, if you put your hand over them like that, you can't really see them properly. So that is a good way to go. And it's got a rubber, rubber face there to it. So I was advised by the professional photographer that sold me this camera to take the glasses off. If you're going to use the visor, can use that as you take your glasses off underneath there's a little button to adjust uh, the adjust the focus on it focus it to your eye and do it that way don't wear your glasses while you're filming so another good tip so of course yes so you got auto you got button on top there auto so it's fully automatic or press it the other way and it's manual so you can then you've got to drive it yourself you've got to do your own focusing and your own balancing this that and the other all that sort of stuff uh, what else can I tell you about it there's several assignable buttons up, up around it which I've not looked into yet I'll have to I'll have to get to look into it they're everywhere with one down here the custom button I don't know, but uh, I'm really pleased with this and of course with this I've got a, a beautiful uh, case it comes in, a large case with pockets so you can put all your accessories in there, so you've got this large case which allows all your batteries, this, that and the other and your leads uh, and of course what I've done with this is, I don't know if you can see it on that, on that camera there but there's a bracket here which takes another bracket that holds a shotgun microphone just there and I took that bracket off because I was going to I was going to buy uh, one of these with an XL, XL, oh, the XLRs Oh dear, my brain's going. But with the with the XLRs, I think they're XLRs. They go in there. So see, this mounts on top there. That tightens down to hold it, so it locks it in. If it was XLR, you could plug that straight in there. You see then you can adjust your volume from there but this jack it was, uh, this was a second hand microphone put for one of these and he was asking 85 quid for it so I didn't buy it and it because someone's bought it so because it, it's sold but uh, oh, I can't want to pay that much out for it yeah so that is the idea of failing that because if I'm using this with I, I would I would have to I would have to 
plug the mic in there you see now that would be recording this is a, a self condenser self powered microphone it's got a battery in it so you, you have to switch it on before anything happens but I mean what a lovely little rig isn't it I've got the bracket on it there you see which I'm going to pull forward because the release button for this battery is just there so I've just got enough room to get to that button to release this battery to change it but what a lovely little rig that is now you can put it on a tripod wheel it around and take your films or you could just as you can see I'm, I'm in a I'm in an electric chair so it's a bit awkward for me I can walk uh, but not not for not for and it's it's a bit of a bit of hard work to walk for me walking uh, yeah but that's that's lo lovely I can't wait to go out and play with this get some uh, pictures in 4k see what they come out like on this of course obviously before you can do anything else you've got to shrink them down <laughs> what's the point really what is the point of having 4k when you've got to shrink it down to, to get it on YouTube or Facebook or anywhere like that never mind right okay I think I've covered it all now and uh, that gentleman Raj Sorry mate, let's get your name again. Oh, I wrote it down but now I've lost it. I'm a dimmy. Oh yeah. Raj. Raj, Mr. Raj Pandit. Okay mate, if you're watching this and uh, it's giving you some idea of uh, how to go forward in your in your video making. I hope I might have helped you out a little bit there. I've got, I've got a Sony. Two is that? That's a two thousand, isn't it? Just I'll go check that. Yeah, I've got a Sony. Sony MC2000 uh, which uh, of all my cameras that's the only one that I am selling because I bought the later one so that's made that one obsolete with, as far as I'm concerned uh, and it's exactly the same as that but not got this things that that's got but that hasn't but apart from that the outside the body uh, the workings is just exactly the same, and uh, they are on a tr on a tripod. I can't, I can't. For a start, it's got to go on this shoulder because they don't make them universal. It only fit on one shoulder. Then you've got to use this eye to look through the viewfinder. Then you've got to squint this eye, and that always makes that always sends my eyes funny when you're closing this eye to look out of this eye and be conscious of that's not a good, good eye <laughs> out of the two this is a better eye I'll be right on this shoulder but not on that shoulder I, I couldn't stand there all day long holding it up there at my age I think I would have struggled when I was a teenager let alone now yeah so anyway they are beautiful cameras and if you want a you want good quality sound You'll get you'll get the sound from these. Okay, any of these I've showed you, you'll get good sound from. 